Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you today? Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and we are here for a love reading for Aries. I am using the Light Seers Tarot in this reading, and I will clarify with the Many Light Seers Tarot. I do have something new. I have a table shot available. So once we put the cards out after the initial channeled message, we'll dive deeply into the messages for our Aries friends. Let's see what we have for Aries. The first card that flew out of the deck is the Strength card, beautiful Leo energy, the infinity symbol. You are working on your happily ever after. So let's see what the bottom of the deck says. Look at this, throwing caution to the winds. Let's see what else we have. Yes, a new beginning, okay. You have been in some ego-driven battles with your love or beloved person. You're really tired of it. You just want things to be sweet, balanced. Again, this really big justice Libra balance. You want a relationship that is full of harmony. Sometimes you feel as though it takes the, the patience of a saint because you want equal give and take and you want somebody who values you. If you do not get those things, Aries, you are walking away. So let's take a look and see now what the rest of your channel message is as we continue in to look at love for you at this time. All right, so let's see for Aries. Aries, you and your lover are currently feeling very romantic. That is the Pisces romantic knight of cups somebody who wants to i call it lance romance okay very common term okay Ooh, the king of wands your person is taking charge the king of wands is like the fireman who sees a fire and rushes to rescue the situation your person wants to make things better it's a fixed energy. You can count on solutions that they come up with at this time to be good for the long term. Uh, it is also, this person has a lot of pride. Uh, they also do not, you have to be a little bit careful because it's fire sign energy. Fire can fight fire. So you always have to be a little careful of ego-driven and egocentric arguments that you might have with this person. All right, so Aries. Again, the Justice card. Your person does see you as a person who's very fair. You're very balanced. The things that you say are logical. The things that you say that you want in love are very beautifully based. They know that theoretically, that if they were to have a debate with you about love, that you would win, Aries. No doubt about it. They also feel as though that you're the person they would like to marry the justice card is a card of legal paperwork if you want to buy a home rent a home uh, if you want to you know get a new job it's a car you know it's a part where you sign your name on the dotted line marriage license boom it's the ruler of the seventh house of marriage so it is all about being fair and balanced and doing what is right now in their heart space, your person is stunted, okay? When we look at this, we're seeing that this person is trying to manifest the King of Wands energy. That is the energy that they are outwardly exhibiting. They're, the actions they're currently taking are very helpful to the relationship. They are meant to be. In their heart space, this is a person who's not highly developed in terms of love. What we have here is most likely childhood conditioning or a childhood limitation that they had growing up that make it very difficult for them to love show their love in a mature way so what you know here is that they love you but they're very awkward in love we see this little pigs fly up here when pigs fly you know how often do you see a pig fly not very often so what does this tell you about this person in their heart space not very often do they know exactly what to do in love so what it does require is that earlier patience that temperance card the patience of a saint is part of what is required in your relationship with this person you know the page of cups is sweet that in their moments they're the sweetest ever and i like the fact that we have the development we go from page of cups to knight of cups to the king of wands so that does show that your person has grown a lot through your relationship with them 
you have taught them a lot. Here we go, Leo Energy. This person's very, very bent on success with you. This is oftentimes recognition like an engagement ring or kissing in front of the jumbotron at the soccer stadium or football stadium and presenting, you know, on bended knee a ring. So what it tells me is that your person really wants to introduce you to their friends. They want you to introduce them to their friends. They want a victory in love. We see that person, this person likes a lot of attention too. So that can be annoying if they're immature because what does it mean? Well, they like attention from all kinds of people that perhaps is not the best choice. <laughs> but not necessarily. I'm not throwing any shade on your person. It is a natural instinct to want attention. We all want attention. We're all ego driven. That's fifth house of romance. What's hidden here in the energy between the two of you, Aries, is that both of you are very attractive to the opposite sex. Both of you have a lot of options. Both of you have a lot of choices to make about this relationship. And those choices can make the relationship fail or succeed. So we're going to look at that energy more deeply. Let's see what spirit is recommending that you do this week. Message from the universe, please, for what Aries should do at, with their lover. Be their best friend. Be their best friend. That is your advice from spirit. Treat them like they are your best friend. Give them everything you have to give. Have some fun. Enjoy life. Go for a walk on a starry night. Share your dreams. Share your happiness and your joy. Be loyal. Be faithful to them emotionally. Look at your outcome card. It is the Three of Wands. This is your ship has arrived in the port. Your Amazon surfboard has arrived along with your air tickets to a beautiful exotic destination like Hawaii, where you can surf on a beautiful night. You have a beautiful time ahead of you. You have already manifested the basics of what you need to make this relationship work. Okay. So I'm going to switch over to the table view now. Hold on one second. This is new technology for me. So we'll see here what we have. We have table. There we go. Do you see what I mean? See what I mean, Jelly Bean? <laughs> Let's see now. We're going to go ahead and clarify the cards. I'm going to straighten these up just a tad here. And let's look at our clarifiers. So let's see what we have in terms of your energy with this person. On the split, we also have the Tower card. And we have you feeling very defensive. So it does show me when I look at these cards, Aries, that when your person says or does something that you feel is disrespectful, you have a tendency to react pretty strongly. When we see this page of cups, that is a person who's not especially skilled at understanding the depths of love. Okay, so let's look and see what your clarifier is. The strength card is the infinity symbol. It is a symbol that indicates that this could be a, to me, this is very twin flame relationship oriented. So let's see what we have for the clarifier here. The Ace of Wands, both of you have been in this relationship long enough to know that you want to be with each other. Both of you want this to be your forever relationship. And both of you want a new passionate beginning in love at this time. Look at this. Your person does think of you as their best friend. You are best friends when you want to be, when you choose to be, when you're highly romantic with each other. I would say because you have the Page of Cups, your person could learn or could use some help in the area. I do feel that for many of you, your person is very um, generous in terms of like small gifts, flowers, little things that they try to do for you. But that is, you know, we have, so we have Cancerian energy, we have Pisces, we have Aries energy, we have Leo energy. Your person very now, uh, uh, your person right now views you and your relationship with remorse and regret of actions taken in the past. Your person feels as though you may not necessarily want them. So there have been arguments in the past, there has been stress and tension in the past, and it's quite understandable. You know, 
this is Gemini energy. Some of the communications that the two of you have had have been quite daunting to this person, quite harrowing. This is Gemini energy, your third house of communication. So I would say that the better way to get through to this person is to tell them or speak to them in a gentle way because the Page of Cups is awkward, but they are typically gentle people. All right, so let's see what the Justice card says here. Why does this person see you as fair and balanced? Why do they see you as fair and balanced? All right. Well, because you've defended yourself. You know, you've really told them what you think. You've really let them know. You've really let them know the things that have hurt you, the things that have caused you to lose sleep. You know, you've really shared that with this person. And they're beginning to understand, Aries. They're truly beginning to understand. Why do we have this page of cups? Tell us more. The two of coins, okay. What I get with this person is that you never feel quite like you are the center of their world. You always feel as though they have other people that are just as important, if not more important than you in the relationship. You feel as though you have a competitor. You feel as though they could be juggling you with another person. The good news that I see so far in this reading is that I think that uh, that other person would be a friend. It could be a child with fifth house energy. Uh, it could be just a random person that they allow to give them attention on the internet, that seven of cups, their fantasy life. You know, if you went on the internet and you found a page of, you know, pretty people, men or women that, you know, in which they would fantasize about, but you don't feel as though you're the only, the only person getting attention in their life. You don't feel like they're one and only. You feel as though you're being juggled uh, in a way that is very immature. Okay. So the Six of Wands energy for you, the Lover's card, hotter than the hinges of Hades, my friends beautiful energy. The two of you are radically different. We see this beautiful Cupid. You love each other intensely. Look at this energy. It's so hot. When it's hot, it's hot. And when it's not, it's not because we have all this sort of watery ocean kind of cold or energy that's less mature. But your person views the situation between the two of you that they want to show you that they are fully invested in you. It's like, I want to win the Academy Award with you. I want you to say yes to me. I want to be your lover. I want to offer more. I want to be more mature. I want to give you what you need and want. All right. So the Seven of Cups energy right here is we're going to clarify that. Both of you are very unclear. Both of you fantasize, both of you. I think there's a lot of miscommunication in the way that you speak to each other. So what is the issue? Why is the Seven of Cups here in what's hidden? The undercurrent. Both of you are very attractive. You both know that you could get another partner easily. So what does that do? Well, you both love each other. Wow. Okay. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups, happily ever after. You both want to live happily ever after, but you don't know how to do it. You communicate very differently. You are very different in the way that you think. You both have the skills and the desire and the love, but you don't know how to communicate it. You don't know how to sort of get there from here. You know, it's like that old joke in the movies. When somebody stops, the city slicker stops in the country and says, well, I need to get to the country store. And the people on the porch don't really like city slickers. So they say, well, you can't get there from here. And that's, of course, silly because you can. So what I see is at this time, the best thing for you to do is to bite your tongue, to recognize that you love each other, to celebrate that love every day, 
And the clarification here is, again, if you pick at each other, if you constantly nitpick each other, if you constantly sort of argue, this is two of swords energy. You know, your truth may not be your person's truth. The way they see things is very different than the way you see things. And what I'm looking at here is that you need some advice on how to handle this energy, Aries. I feel as though since you're the person who is more mature in this relationship, you're the person who is more ascended, you know, you definitely need some help because it becomes very aggravating to you to deal and to love this person so deeply. I mean, what's more frustrating than having the love that you want and yet feeling unhappy, feeling as though you can't get through to someone, feeling as though you are not their priority, feeling as though there are just times when you have to zip your lip and, you know, and uh, go along to get along. That's not who you are, Aries. You know, you don't want this feeling. You want this beautiful energy here. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have here for advice from the angels and astro ancestors, angels and ancestors, oracle cards. Okay, so for our beautiful Aries friends, what advice does Aries have from the oracle and ancestors? Um, what advice do you have? For the Nine of Swords card, remorse and regret. What could that person do? What could Aries' partner do to make that better? Choose your path, direction, guardian. So your person needs to be very clear cut what they really need to give you. And you know this, Aries. What your person needs to give you is a really clear cut indicator that you are their one and only. What do you need to do to get there? Take time to reflect, the mirror guardian. So you should take time to reflect the journey that they're on and try to appreciate where they're at and try to figure out if this were a total stranger asking for directions on how to do this, what would you tell them if you take your ego out of it? What would you tell them in a way that would be calm, reassuring, and nurturing to help this person understand? Something that would be easier to hear than, them, than this person feeling picked upon, okay? So let's see what the energy is with this Two of Coins. Self-empowerment for Aries in this reading. Two of Coins energy, how they should handle it. Connect with your emotions, okay, fair enough, right? You're very connected with your emotions. Trust your instincts. So it does say that you need to trust your instincts in knowing whether this is immaturity or whether you're being juggled. So if you're being juggled, the answer becomes much clearer, okay? Uh, if you're not being juggled, then it's like take it for the source that it is. Love the person for who they are while you work on the relationship. Okay. Intent and create is how you get out of this bind. If you want to have a very romantic relationship and your person is accustomed to bringing you flowers, I would say do something equivalent. You know, if you are the person that likes to prep food, and I say that because I see the Queen of Cups, I see Cancerian and Pisces energy here for you, and I see that secretly you're very, very nurturing, to be more overt about it, to say, I'm going to make a romantic dinner for tonight. Uh, let's eat out on the terrace. Would you put the tablecloth out there, please? Would you hear the candles? You know, um, let's go ahead and eat outside. I want to go for a romantic walk afterwards. Won't that be fun? And your person will be right there with you because they don't know how to make that verbal. They don't know how to verbalize this. So let's see what the energy is for you on the Two of Swords energy. You know, you want to be happy, but you feel as though every time you try to be happy, this person gets really sort of screwy on you. You know, that bird's picking at you. <laughs> you feel as though they pick at you. Be the light. Be the light. Okay. I love this energy for you. 
Aries, what it tells me is that when this person says something to you that is not enlightened, say to them, I understand the message that you're annoyed with me. I understand the annoyance in your comment, but could you think of a better way to reword your frustration with me? Because the way you're saying this to me feels more like you are really criticizing me, that you're hurting me with the way you're saying this. Is there, what is it that you really need for me to know? What is in your heart right now? What is it? that we need to understand with one another. Aries, you are going to be the leader in this relationship. I know that sometimes you get tired and sometimes you'd like someone else to take the lead. But Aries, you are a leader. You're Mars. You're the warrior. You're the sharp end of the spear, Aries. You have clarity. You take action. You know just what to do. You know just how to solve problems. You are the sharp end of the spear. Your person is not. They're tender. They're loving. They're confused. They're immature. But they love you. They love you tremendously. They want you to be their happily ever after. And by the looks of this lover card, lover's card. Oh, I think that they please you in many, many ways, Aries. Many ways. Both of you really love each other. You know this person loves you. You absolutely know that, Aries. So we're going to go to the extended. If you would like to follow me there, I'm going to look into your person. I'm going to isolate now in the extended what your person is thinking, feeling, advice for you in terms of how to handle that energy, to really look at the bridging energy in this reading at this time. Let's see what the bridge is to the answers. Look at that nine of cups being happy, letting go of the past, starting a new cycle, starting fresh. So let's see what is the bridging energy for Aries and their person in this beautiful love affair. It really is beautiful. You know, if we look for per perfect partner Aries, we're never going to find them. Because if you can't say, I'm perfect, and do that, and you would never do that because you're down to earth and you're grounded and you know the score. None of us are perfect. We're human. So really, the answer is, how can I love from this human heart another human heart? What can I take? What can't I take? How do I stand in my power? How do I be my best self and bring my lover as best I can if they're motivated up to the place where I would like them to be? Let's learn together. Oh, look at this. This is your energy that's going to be the bridge into the extended reading. It's about making the investment in love, assessing where you're at. You and your partner are both doing it at this time. So if you want to follow me, see you there. If not, mwah, it's been a joy. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Make comments. It really helps for me to know. And any suggestions you are welcome. Again, don't forget to enter the contest. Take care. Bye-bye.